Hi, thanks for tuning in. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday. Uh, for those of you who celebrated Christmas, it has just passed now, and I wanted to share what I got for Christmas. Um, I like to do these videos to share some further ideas on gifts um, because Christmas or the holidays is not the only time that we give gifts. Um, so you can kind of keep these in the back of your mind as possible gifts for birthdays or celebrations in the future. I wish everyone a happy holiday, regardless of what holiday you may celebrate or not. And more importantly, I wish everybody all the best in the new year. So happy new year and um, 2021 can only get better. So there are a number of things that I got myself, of course, and um, there are a few pieces that have been gifted kindly by friends and family. My mind couldn't help but categorize some of these items so that they, um, so that the video can be a little bit more organized. And um, I'll start with the luxury accessories. First piece I wanted to mention is what is on my neck right now. This was a lovely gift from my boyfriend. He. Um, found a vintage Chame piece and that was my Christmas present. I've been actually wearing it ever since it got here so I know I know this might be like blasphemy to some folks but I'm not as particular about um, holding out until the 25th to open any Christmas gifts. Um, we are, my family has always been pretty fluid <laughs> in um, gift giving. A lot of the times and especially because this year we haven't really been able to spend it with um, all, our whole like friends and family group. Uh, we figured we would at least, we'd start enjoying our gifts when we got them um, because that felt like the least we could do to make 2020 December feel a little bit better. <laughs> um, so I have been wearing it ever since you may have seen little snippets of it on Instagram. So that's one of my new fine jewelry pieces given that I, uh, I have been growing my fine jewelry collection a little bit more this year. Um, so that is the first gift that I'm super excited about. Ta-da! Um, I have to say this Gucci holiday packaging has really been like, I don't know, I just really, really like it. I love this green color and the matching green ribbon. It just seems really fitting for the kind of retro look that Gucci really has. And um, I can't lie, it's part of the reason that uh, what convinced me to go inside the boutique to begin with. So. I have a couple of items. I'll start with the first one. Um, and this is more like a stocking stuffer. So in this little box, the tissue paper is gorgeous as well. There is this hair clip. And this is a piece that I sort of instantly fell in love with when I saw it at the boutique. They also make a black color as well. And um, it's like a, um, more of like the alligator clip where you can, you just like slide it on. Um, and when I tried it on, the hold is actually really good. For my hair, it, it would, it grabbed onto it and stayed put for, I, I could feel the strength. It's kind of liked how slightly retro it looked. Uh, and it's pretty simple, it has stars and I love stars. The next item is in here and this is something that I just got myself because I had been thinking about this item for a while, like a, a pretty long time and I just never really bit the bullet to get it. And inside this box are a pair of socks. Um, you'll see these are like the knee-high length socks. They are like glitter socks in silver with pink GGs. Like I said, this is just something I had been thinking about getting for a pretty long time. Um, I'd say like a year or two. It's probably been a year. It's probably been just over a year. This year I'm really getting into accessorizing with socks and uh, different shoes to wear with different kinds of socks and things like that. So um, I, I just really liked, I just really wanted a pair. That's, that's really the end of it. I just really wanted a pair. Um, and I, I felt like they would accessorize really well with some of my shoes and, um, and I wanted to try out different styling. So that's why I decided to go ahead and get the socks. <laughs> Plus they'd be kind of cozy for home too given we're spending so much time at home. The last kind of accessory item I wanna to touch upon is in this really adorable box with the holiday packaging from LV. Um, I really like the illustration. Now, I haven't been able to get 
an actual like shopping tote. I don't I don't know if any of those had really made it to the New York City boutiques, but um, I'm happy with the tag. The tag is still really cute. And inside is something really special, something that I was not expecting at all. And inside is this really precious luggage tag or name tag and you'll see um, there is actually some hand painting done on it that mimics the holiday packaging from this year this is actually kindly a gift from our Louis Vuitton sales associate he was so nice to gift each of us one of these and so now we have like a matching set of these smaller name tags and I was absolutely floored I think it's gorgeous um, and the hand painting makes it really special and makes it very particular for this holiday season. And yeah, I really wasn't expecting it, but I was I was very um, I was very thankful to receive this. This was a really thoughtful, um, beautiful gift um, from Louis Vuitton. I also didn't know they made these like smaller size name tags. I'm sure there are some handbags that have them. Uh, but yeah, that's the first time I've gotten a smaller name tag. So that's it for the luxury accessories. I think I'll move over to home bits because again, we're spending a lot of time at home and there are a number of things that, um, that are really perfect for home life. The first item is in this luxurious packaging as well. It's from Chanel. Chanel, I think this year, this is what my essay told me. Um, Chanel's holiday packaging was focused on the makeup and skincare, and my essay told me that the boutiques did not get any holiday packaging. I have seen holiday packaging for this year online, like on Instagram, like people have been taking pictures of it. And so I'm not sure if it's been like select boutiques in the US that were able to get some holiday packaging, or um, it might just be that the holiday packaging was more available in Europe and Asia. It's like a cherry on top, you know, it's not like a necessity. But anyway, um, I, I have a little bit of holiday packaging through this item right here. And this was kindly gifted by one of my Chanel essays as well. Um, if you guys haven't checked out, I do have a video explaining this whole new Chanel boutique in New York City, but it's called uh, Chanel, it's the Atelier Beauté. It's like the beauty atelier in New York City. It's in Soho. It's a new kind of concept store where you're able to try out a lot of the products and determine which ones would be the best fit for you. Um, so one of my Chanel essays moved over to that boutique and um, she kindly gifted this a body oil in like the vanilla scent. How wonderful is that? And um, it was it, it was geared towards kind of self-care and uh, relaxation at home, given that we are spending so much time at home. So that was her really thoughtful gift. If you haven't checked out the Atelier Beauté, you definitely should. Um, even in COVID times, they have updated their procedures uh, and policies and things like that to so that everybody has their own kind of kit to to be able to use to test products um, and um, there's all these like swatch papers that you're able to put items on and there they give you like little bits of samples that you can take home try on at home and then figure out which ones are the right shade for you and, and you can purchase all the items online if you kind of miss having that like in-person experience, I definitely recommend you check out Atelier Beauté because that's exactly what you're able to do. It's like skincare related as well are these uh, pieces from Augustinus Bader. So these are actually a gift from me to me. It's like the smallest size, the 15 mil size of the cream and the rich cream. And those are their signature moisturizers. So my friend here on YouTube, you know who you are, who's influenced me to try this out. And um, I finally decided to give it a try. I was running low on my moisturizer anyway. I will definitely report back on how these are because I feel like they are pretty hyped up. So I want to see if they live up to the hype. I saw something really funny on the purse bop like Instagram stories. And it was like, I don't need to know the whole uh, what was it? I don't need to know the whole synopsis of 2021, but I just need to know, am I investing in loungewear and skincare or pretty heels and handbags <laughs> for 2021? So um, I, I just thought that was really funny. It looks like the sun wanted to hide behind a cloud, but I think it's going to come back. So if you see the light fluctuate a little bit, that's 
why um, I know it's my reliance on natural light, but I feel like it gives the best ambiance and like glow in my videos, which is why I keep insisting on using sunlight. So here we are. <laughs> so the next item is in this beautiful package right here. It is from a small business that uh, we have just discovered, really. Um, we is in my boyfriend and I. Um, we were looking for gifts for our friends as well, and that's how we came upon this. Um, this is a beautiful Palo Santo ceramic dish um, and it comes with some palo santo as well for you to be able to rest the palo santo and the ashes can fall and it will catch in the tray it's actually a really beautiful ceramic piece um, these are made in california this is something that i will probably start using a little bit more as like a ritual at home to help segment myself um, because we are doing pretty much everything at home um, we will eat, sleep, work, play, like everything really happens at home. And I think it's helpful to have some sort of ritual to be able to know that like your work day is over and you're now entering, you know, kind of the, the home stage, you know, the comfy home stage. Um, and there are lots of things that you can do for that, right? Like you could change what you're wearing for, you know, you can go from like pajamas to like workwear. That can still be comfortable, but it's something a bit different um, than what you would just be like lounging in at home. And then, you know, once you're done with work, you can then transition into different clothes to signal that you're now relaxing at home and then go back into your pajamas and end the day. Um, so that's one way to do it. Um, there can be other rituals that you do. So I wanted to um, use the Palo Santo to be able to kind of signal that there is something different that I'll be doing or I'll be entering kind of a different space. Another stocking stuffer from my boyfriend is in here and um, these are flower shears. I'll, share, I'll show you the box as well. These are from a brand called Niwaki. These are Japanese flower shears and um, they were doing, they did a collaboration with Sakagen, which is another brand of um, scissors from Japan and they look like this. Um, they're in a beautiful yellow color and they actually come with um, like a cover. It's a, like a little leather piece to cover your scissors because they are extremely sharp. So that's what the little cover is for. So you can just add the sheath over the blades and you can be protected from those sharp blades. Um, this is, yeah, this was basically a stocking stuffer because I really like my flowers <laughs> um, and I like really getting into having flowers at home or making arrangements and things like that. Um, that's why this was a really thoughtful gift from my boyfriend. If I didn't say it already, I will be linking everything that I can find in the description box down below so you can definitely check out some of these pieces. Continuing with the flower theme is my next gift, which is the flower color guide. This is a wonderful gift uh, from my boyfriend's extended family. We do, every holiday season, we do like a secret Santa kind of arrangement with everybody. So um, this is what my secret Santa had gotten me. And um, this is perfect because this is a book that I have been longing to get for a while. And um, every time I, I don't know why, it was, it's like, it's one of those things where you're like, oh yeah, I'll get it next time. Oh yeah, I'll get it next time. And then it's like been a year since <laughs> I thought about getting it. Um, but it is a color guide. So it organizes all the flowers by color and you're able to uh, learn more about uh, different flowers that are in different colorways. It will continue to increase my sort of knowledge on flowers and making arrangements and things like that. I think it's just, I think it's a really pretty book to just look at as well. If you know anybody who loves flowers, I feel like the flower shears and this book is just a really great gift idea, you know, or if you know anybody who loves gardening and things like that, I feel like these are um, really fun for that. One other home item that we, we, I say like my boyfriend and I decided to sort of gift each other together <laughs> um, is this beautiful piece by Adam Handler. It is an original artwork. 
So we have also been getting a lot more interested in art pieces that we can start collecting. We saw this Adam Handler piece at um, the gallery and instantly fell in love. So we were like the first to jump on it. <laughs> We've been familiar with some of Adam's pieces before. Um, he did a whole series of ghosts and this is part of that ghost series. Um, but usually he does his ghost pieces on paper. And these are actually specifically created for this gallery, Maison 10, in New York City. And they're actually canvas paintings rather than uh, paintings on paper. So that was also a really special component of this piece. Um, he also does like a tulip series, which is also really beautiful. So um, we, we've noticed some of his pieces and seen some of his previous ghost pieces that we thought about. Um, but when we saw this carnival ghost, we just kind of fell in love. We thought it was really, just really spectacular. <laughs> so uh, we decided to purchase that piece. So now I'll move on to the last category, which I'm just calling luxury ready to wear. I'll start with a piece that I picked up from Dior. And you may have already seen a little sneak peek of it on Instagram because I did already wear it. It's this sweater and I will insert a picture of what it looks like on. Um, actually, you've probably also seen a sneak peek of it in my last um, like Dior vlog. Uh, the event that I went to was focused around the ski capsule collection. There is like a pop-up space that they have right next to all of the Dior boutiques in Soho. Um, that's where they put the ski capsule collection and they plan on using that space as like a pop-up location that's very focused on specific collections. We tried on a couple of pieces while we were there and I sort of instantly fell in love with this sweater. I was looking for a somewhat holiday-ish sweater and um, that's why I had those bits from Shein that I also purchased. Then I just saw this, I tried it on, I just really liked it. I felt like it was, it's very, very well made. All the details on the stitching is gorgeous. Um, the colorway is also pretty unique. Um, the ready to wear from the ski capsule collection was in collaboration with the Japanese brand Descent and um, they focus, they make, um, they make ski snowboard like winter wear gear like clothing um, like technical wear and and clothing for that so this was in collaboration with descent and they wanted to really focus on like their traditional colors which for them was black white and purple um so that's where that whole kind of color scheme came from and i just felt like it was really pretty um, and it wasn't very very obviously dior which i liked and the last bit that I wanted to share are these gorgeous fingerless gloves. Um, these are by Lauren Bagliore. If you guys remember in like the summer, around like September, I had a vlog where I was sharing how I did like a whole like photo shoot uh, with Lauren Bagliore pieces. Um, so you guys know that I really love her pieces. They're all made in New York City, which is also really cool. Um, these are stretched leather gloves that are lined with polar fleece and okay I was one of those people who kind of wrote off fingerless gloves I thought they were kind of silly like Chanel makes them I think Fendi has a pair out now um, there's so many brands that make them but I was kind of like ah, it seems really silly to like have fingerless gloves because like your hands will still be cold I'm like a real mittens person mittens are my favorite but if I have to I'll wear gloves and then I was just like fingerless gloves just seem really not useful because <laughs> like you'll still be cold um well now enter the world of you know coronavirus covid and mask wearing during a pandemic and like you need your fingers a lot more now because your phone nothing unlocks like you can't really access your phone you always have to enter your passcode because you're wearing a mask and yeah, having your fingers available definitely helps. <laughs> so I'm a huge fan of fingerless gloves now, honestly. And these are really, really cool. They make you feel instantly like real, real like warrior, real like badass, you know what I mean? Because they are so, so soft and they stretch beautifully, they're not, they don't look too extreme. They don't look like 
you know, dominatrix necessarily. Uh, they don't really give too much of that really, really strong image. Um, and it's, it's almost like, you know, if you had like a beautiful coat and you, and it was a little bit shorter, like this could just peek out and it, it keeps you warm still. Or if you're wearing like a poncho or like a wrap shawl, you can have that bit coming underneath. Um, it's, it's, it's actually ends up being really subtle and it does keep you really warm. So even if you're wearing just like a thin thermal long sleeve shirt uh, or top, you can slip these on and you'll stay pretty warm for the whole day. So these were another lovely gift and I wanted to share them in case you were like me and you wrote off fingerless gloves, okay? I think in the era that we wear masks, I think it's helpful. <laughs> okay, I think that's everything. I know this is probably a little bit of a longer video. I'm gonna do my best to try to condense it down so it's uh, not too long. If you have any Christmas gifts that you felt like were awesome, like they were your favorite, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you and also keep them in the back of my mind as future gifts for other people. I also know that the holidays is not about gifts and what kinds of gifts you get or what kinds of gifts you're able to give to others. Um, especially in 2020, I feel like the holidays meant a lot more than just that. This is not the most important part of any of that, but I did want to share for some entertainment. <laughs> And if you haven't watched my like Vlogmas video, I wanted to reiterate in this one that I really thank each and every one of you who has tuned in to my channel, who's joined this community and really continued the conversation with me. In 2020, this really emerged as like a pivotal connection point for me and like the outside world pretty much. And I don't think I would have been able to stay as motivated and stay sane um, this whole year without continuing this and having your engagement and continuing the conversation and all the DMs and all of that wonderful stuff. So I really wanna thank everybody here uh, one more time before the year ends. If you have any questions on any of these items or really anything at all, feel free to leave them down below or head on over to Instagram and I'd be happy to help however I can. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate your feedback and support. If you like this kind of content and you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I post new fashion related videos every Sunday and Wednesday. So until next time,